stepping in, and he has his no-hitter. like he pitched five days ago against Texas. He has Man. been absolutely lethal. Fielder on a tamper back to the mound. There's a line drive to right and a sliding catch by Ordonez. And a fist pump from Verlander. Swung on and missed. He got him. The 0-1. Bouncing ball right side. Casey backs up, makes the play. He'll flip to Justin. One gone. Ground ball hit to short. Perez stumbles, has it, flips the second one. Relay! Got him! What a play! Oh, my goodness, what a play! <laughs> Swung on and miss. Oh, man! One away, the 0-2 pitch. Got him! The 0-2. High fly ball, right field. Ordonez backing up. He is there. No hitter for Justin Burke. The first Tigers no hitter since 1984 when Jack Morris no hit the White Sox. What a scene at Comerica Park. This is going to do it. Prince Fielder wants it. The Tigers are going to the World Series for the 11th time in franchise history. Cooper, the first man to face him here in the ninth inning. And he popped him up on the infield. Sizemore taking charge. One pitch, one out. The 1-1 one -one pitch. Ground ball towards second base. Sizemore, two gone. Here's the 2-2 two -two pitch on the way. Swing and a miss. He struck him out. Verlander has done it again. The second no-hitter in his young career. He has done it again. They may have run the Kentucky Derby today, but the Tiger horse was not. Exactly. 
the location that Houston Street wanted. He wanted to run that fastball in more on the hands. Not enough. And Houston knew it when he let it go. As soon as it left the bat, and look at Leland. Look at the Tigers. What a great scene here at Comerica Park in Detroit. What a wonderful, wonderful story. The Detroit Tigers American League champions. Who would have thought, Tom Brenneman, starting the season, that we would be here seeing this in this wonderful city of Detroit? How sweet must this be for Jim? And the way this crowd is going, we're just going to be quiet and let you listen and enjoy it to your heart's content. Johnny Grubb preparing for the onslaught took his cap off and put it in his shirt. And that's why most of them have their caps off. They'll be running out there. Fans love the game. Even Krasuski, he doesn't like to take his hat off. He hasn't got that much grass. Ramon Santiago is going to replace Miguel Cabrera now. And let's listen to the standing ovation for Miguel Cabrera as he walks off the field. How about this? A tip of the cap, a giant smile, and hugs all the way around. A standing ovation for Miguel Cabrera and his teammates are there to greet him. Very classy gesture as well by the Kansas City Royals players. What a phenomenal season that Miguel Cabrera has had and it is culminated here tonight. He is hitless in this game but he's on his way to the Triple Crown and uh, Jim Leland has taken him out of this game to Give him a chance to kind of take his bow, and that's uh, that's a great sight here at the ballpark. Johnny G of the television. McCarver pops up. Here's Freehan. Detroit's the new world champion. And look at Freehan picking up Lulich. <laughs> and there is a scene that has been repeated many times in World Series history. It's a happy bunch of Tigers. They have beaten the Cardinals four to one, and they have replaced them as the champions of baseball. And they made some comeback. They were trailing three games to one. They were behind three runs in the first inning of game five. They came back to win. They walked in here and murdered the Cardinals yesterday. They win again today, and 28-year-old Mickey Lowich now has joined Christy Matthewson, Jack Coombs, Babe Adams, Stan Kovaleski, Harry Burkeen, Lou Burdett, and Bob Gibson as pitchers who have won three games and lost none in a World Series. And Lolich did it with two days rest and beat. Well, this is the big day for the maestro Denny McLean. Saturday afternoon at Tiger Stadium, September the 14th. 
1968, and Denny will be going for win number 30. Now the count on Horton is now two balls and two strikes. And Campanaris comes in from short. Stops with his pitcher, Diego Segui. Here's the set by Segui, the pitch. Swung on, a drive to left. That'll be the ball game. It's over the head of Gosma. The plane wins his 30th. Here comes Stanley in the score. Willie Horton has a single, and the ball game is over. And the Tigers win it 5-4. to four. Jenny McLean is one of the first out of the rugout. Racing out, and Horton is mobbed as the Tigers come from behind. And McLean has his 30th victory of the 1968 season. Well, Denny McLean has achieved something that has not been done in a long, long time, as Willie Horton, who singles in Mickey Stanley from third base, and Denny cops his 30th win of the year, the first major league hurler to win 30 games since Dizzy Dean did it September the 30th, 1934, the first American League pitcher to win 30 since Lefty Grove did it September the 18th, 1931, and he's the first Tiger 30-game winner ever.